Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. This is Richard and Rick here on day number six. I, I don't have another hand. Give me, give me one finger, Rick. Of the um, Carnival Paradise sailing after its 2023 dry dock. And I think we have a pretty good review by now. Now, Rick, this is something you should never do. You should never spoil your review in the first minute of your video. Okay. But forget that. We're going to spoil the review. All right. Rick, you've been, well, you know about Celebration of Mardi Gras. I know you got canceled from it or something. And you know about Vista and, and Horizon. We actually met on Horizon. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Rick and me met on Horizon. We hit it off. I didn't remember meeting him because I was drinking too much. I think we're going to stay sober for this ship tour. Sorry for those of you that don't expect that. But uh, we're going to stay sober for this ship tour. And I think of, her, I think of uh, Celebration, uh, Mardi Gras, Jubilee, the uh, Excel class of ships as Disney World. They're big, they got water slides, they got all that, activities, food all over, everything like that. They're like 20 specialty restaurants and everything like that. Then you got Horizon, Horizon, Vista, and Panorama, which is another step down. They're like Universal. Rick, what is this ship? This is the sea world of the ships. Well, of carnival ships. Yep, of carnival ships. So what are we going to do? We're going to take you on a little tour of the sea world of carnival ships. This is exactly where you get on board, and this is the first thing you see. Now, this doesn't scream out sea world to me. This kind of screams out 90s Vegas, doesn't it to you? Have you done Vegas, or you haven't done Vegas? Yeah, I've done Vegas. This, this seems like the, the hotels that haven't been renovated in Vegas. That's really what this seems like. But, I mean, we got very fortunate. I want to show everybody where we came on the ship. We came on the ship right there and when we came on the ship what was the first thing we wanted to do go to your room go to your room and we were like oh we need an elevator we need an elevator we need to go to our room guess what we didn't need an elevator from the point you went on the ship i'm going to take you to the room i'm going to show you the room real quick i don't usually show the room this early but guess what it's convenient so let's go down the hallway we're going towards the room then we're gonna do a tour of the whole ship and I don't think we're gonna take elevators the entire time. I know that's really weird, but this ship is so tiny, you don't need elevators. If you are staying on this ship, you must, 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 I don't know why I'm telling you this, uh, but you must book a cabin on deck seven. Do you agree, Rick? Oh, uh, absolutely. There's nowhere else to have a cabin but deck seven. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten are all that matter on this ship and there's only cabins on deck seven as far as I know out of those. So let me show you the room. And I have intentionally, Rick doesn't know this, left the lights off. Now you might go, hey, why'd you leave the lights off? Because Red Roof, <laughs> yeah, I think it worked. Red Roof Inn leaves the lights on. Why'd you leave the lights off? Because I want to show you, this is the dark cabin. And this is something I've never seen on a cruise ship before. Um, Rick hates it. But watch, when you walk in, this is good for when you're here at night. It should. Come on. It activates a light right here. Uh, and there's actually a wired light that's wired in the refrigerator. You can turn the normal lights on right now. There's a light that's wired in the refrigerator. Uh, and it turns on. It's a motion-activated light. Now, hey, Rick, this is not any of our doings. The room was just cleaned, okay? What does it smell like in here? Piss. Have you been to SeaWorld? Yes. What does it smell like all over SeaWorld? Piss. Yes! <laughs> this ship smells like piss. It was redone six days ago, okay? That's just the reality of uh, what you're getting with this ship. But it does have a massive bathroom compared to most other inside bathrooms on other ships. See, we got our bathing suits hung up there. Yes, it is a shower curtain ship. Uh, and they do have the free Tide Pods for your eating pleasure. They've actually separated both of the flavors. So you got blue flavor over here and orange flavor over there. Have you tried the Tide Pods? Absolutely. I've heard they're delicious. It's the other night when I got so drunk. You got to feed them to kids, don't you? <laughs> no. Uh, and then this is the cabin. We had the bed split. They were together. We booked this 20 hours before we got on board. Uh, so they had the beds together and we said, no, we ain't that way. Uh, we got our little farewell dog because it's the last day on board. Got some hooks. This is always what my table looks like. This is what it takes to make these videos. Uh, but let's just look. There are, uh, there are two American outlets and one European outlet in this room. So that's what you got, two American, one European. I generally just use one outlet and, 
and blow everything out from that one outlet. There's outlets back there. Uh, the USB outlets. So there are some USB outlets, but Rick, you said they're pretty weak, right? Yeah, pretty weak. Do they smell like piss? No. no yeah, it probably does. It's kind of like a kind of like all over the uh, all over the park in SeaWorld where they have outlets. Uh, I personally don't plug my shit into outlets because security reasons. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk through the whole ship now. Everything is fair game. We've been on board for six days, and no, I'm not just randomly picking up a drink from a cart. I left this here a couple minutes ago. Uh, yeah. I left this here a couple oh, minutes yeah. ago. Nice. I'm drinking someone else's drink. Oh, that's Bill Cosby got to that drink. What? <laughs> Jello. Uh, that's my hydration drink because I drank too much uh, non-hydration drink. Yes, alcohol dehydrates you. All right, Rick. So we're starting on deck seven. We're leaving the cabin right here. And where are we going up to? Well, we're going to do the guest services test. It's the last day, right? Yep. So we're going to see a bunch of ladies in line at the guest services desk. Anybody want to guess what all those ladies' names are? They all have the same name. What's their name? Karen? Yeah! And then they bring Ken along just for giggles. But uh, you're going to see a whole bunch of Karens. I will say, this is my first cruise as a platinum customer. Uh, we just hit a whale. <laughs> uh, my first cruise as a platinum customer. Honestly, as platinum, I haven't seen a huge difference. But the good news is, I ain't kind of waiting in line with all the Karens. Uh, I have my own special Karen line. I'm not actually a Karen. Uh, oh. But you'll short. see oh, no, it's that. Oh, oh, it's there. That's the platinum line. And then the normal line goes all the way back into the art gallery. You got the shore excursions desk, which ain't nobody doing excursions in Miami. Cancellation policy, airport transfers available. And then you've got this is the little kiosk that you can load and unload money from. Hey Rick, there's these things all over the ship. This is the first one we have a chance to see. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you notice it. What are these? You know, someone in my comments earlier said that these are anchors. Do they look like anchors to you? No, they kind of look like something else. Yeah, I mean, the anchor, the, your microphone, that's from a company called Anchor. But those look like, um, yeah, it's No Nut November. That's all we're going to go with. So we're continuing around Deck 7. If we went down that Ghetto Services line, you'd see a whole bunch of trash art from our friends at Park West. It's garbage. It's total trash. There's a reason they operate on ships and don't operate anywhere else in the world. Now, we are on Deck 7. 654, we're not going there. 6543 or Neverland. You don't want to book those decks um, because they're so far away from everything. When you're on Deck 7, all you do you go up one to dining room, you go up two to casino, you go up three to buffet. Yep. It really feels like Rick hasn't been on one, so I can't, uh, I can't say Rick doesn't feel like this, but I can tell you, it kind of feels like a riverboat. In that, hey, there are elevators. I think I've used the elevators once the first day just to scare the crap out of people, uh, because I love doing that. Then I used it uh, after that because I was too drunk to do four flights of stairs, but generally, we don't need to use the elevators. Next, gift shops. It looks like they got a pretty good refurb in the dry dock, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, every, the gift shops look like brand new. They look like Oasis Allure, Edge Club, the Edge. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong ships. They look like Celebration Mardi Gras Jubilee class shops. This is the fun shops. These are run not by Carnival directly, but by a third party. We'll take you to a Carnival shop later. But it looks like they've added uh, Billabong, Elam. Is that Elam or Elon? Elon. Let's go with Elon. Okay. Okay, that's Elon. Some clothing, different things like that. This is like a sundry shop kind of thing. Got some sunglasses. They did add Pandora. This is obviously brand new. Well, other than that wall. <laughs> There's some tape there, but this looks brand new, and doesn't it? They do not have anything. This is my wife wanted me to check anything from Carnival, any type of. So they have uh, nothing unique. Nothing unique as far as like a little ship or anything. Interesting. So they have nothing unique. Then we've got the jewelry store, which is run by Effie. Um, they do have a port and shopping guide on board too. Um, but we've got dead watches. 
There's this thing. Hey, Rick, what killed all this? See all this? You see anybody shopping in the watch section? Apple. The Swiss watch industry says that the Apple watch didn't hurt them. You want to call bullshit on that, Rick? I call bullshit on that. I mean, have you ever seen anybody shopping in a watch section of a cruise ship? No. That's uh, just how I feel. They got some jewelry. They got, uh, whew, look at this. Two days to go. Coming soon, happening. In the, what the hell does this even mean? We get off the boat tomorrow. Are they just trying to confuse people? I'm just saying. Then we got, uh, what's this? Liquor in front, this poker the, in back. This is the best one. Remember, remember that if you buy your liquor on board, they deliver it to you on the last night of your cruise. So I want you to read in between the lines. I'm not going to say it out loud, Rick. What should you do if you are uh, booked back to back? You should buy liquor in the last night so you can drink it all the next week Shh. and have your own bar. Shh. Shh. Because the shops don't know. Um, they have a giant bottle of Jack Daniels, too. Just what you need. It is a very rough day today. Uh, Crown Apple. Just to give you an idea on the price. Shivas, two for 75. Uh, Crown Rye, Crown Apple, Jack. It's okay. You bought before today. If you bought before today, yeah. If you bought before the day, deliver it. If you buy it today, you just drink it. Hey, so you don't need a drink package on the last sea day. And trust me, today you don't need a drink package. The ship is rocking for you. Now, we went to Chef's Table, didn't we? Yes, we did. It was Rick's first Chef's Table experience, um, and it is the old menu. If any of you are carnival familiar, they used to have a menu where they had like pretty much every protein under the sun other than chicken, even though I got some chicken because I don't eat. Uh, and then they also had, I think the unique thing on that menu, I told Rick when we had it, but the unique thing on that menu was actually the, uh, the soup, which has a sphere of lobster bisque inside of a beef, beef broth, and it's their surf and turf, and you mm -hmm. mix it. I still think that's the most unique thing yeah, on the that menu. Was, that was awesome. That was... that was a really cool. Now, they don't have a special dining room. They don't have a steakhouse. They don't have any specialty restaurants other than one little stall with one small Asian man who makes sushi. Uh -huh. But they actually do chef's table in the library. And what's amazing is this library, we were discussing, we were here earlier, this library really feels like it's straight out of the Tower of Terror back in its heyday. No, we're not going to stay in the library too long. This is modeled, a lot of this ship is modeled after the, uh, the Queen Mary, which Carnival also owns. I'm not sure if they own them at the time of uh, them building this ship, but Carnival bought Cunard and owns, uh, as weird as this sounds, the inside of this ship. We haven't talked about this yet. It really feels more like an ocean liner than a cruise liner. It feels more like the Titanic than the Oasis of the Seas, or the, or the Mardi Gras, or the Celebration. It feels very much like the Titanic. Um, Definitely check out, we have a full video on the chef's table. Check that out. Now we're not coming in here to dine, but we did just, Rick did his first brunch on Carnival. Yeah, what do you think about brunch? It was excellent. Yeah, I like, I like brunch on Carnival. This is their main dining room for anytime dining. We did choose anytime dining over the cruise. Um, look, let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. The app on this ship, are we deep? Yeah, we're 13 minutes in. It's an absolute clusterfuck. Oh yeah, it's, it's It decides when it wants to work. It decides when it doesn't want to work. It's kind of like my presidential candidate, Joe Exotic. Uh, but the, the app on this ship, the first night, it said check in in 10 minutes and then it just ballooned and we were like an hour and a half waiting for dinner. Last night, supposedly we weren't able to check in, but uh, the only reason I knew we weren't able to check in uh, I was drunk. I was actually passed out over here. He was asleep? <laughs> yeah, I was asleep because I did a drinking challenge. Um, well, we got over here, the piano bar, which is actually the, this is the America piano bar. And I'm not even sure it was originally a piano bar. It's just called the America bar, but it's very, uh, very patriotic in nature. And we spent uh, quite a night here, um, I will say. I think, uh, Rick, I think this is a fair assessment. You've been on a few carnival cruises, right? Mm -hmm. Roger here. This was Not the best piano guy we've ever had, but also not the worst. Kind of right in the middle. Yep, a lot better than Horizon. Oh, though. my God. <laughs> that guy sucked. The guy on Horizon? I, I, it was a... 
Uh, I, my, my friend Kirsten, the purple hair girl, that's how, that's how y'all know her. She's going on a celebration with me next week. Uh, not celebration, celebrity. Uh, we're actually doing celebrity. Uh, and she's never been on celebrity before, so she's going to be able to kind of compare and contrast. She was on Carnival uh, Horizon. She's going to be on celebrity. She's been on Norwegian a lot. Uh, but she loved the piano guy for some reason on Horizon. He was terrible. Roger's funny. Uh, you, think we should, you think we should throw to him talking about his penis? Eh, why not? Okay. This is Roger singing about his penis. Yes, there was me shame. And all you do is stare at the floor. Their penis. I don't like you anymore. And yes. listen, dear Roger, I don't think I don't like you anymore. Cause when you get to drinking, you put me places I've never been before. Dear Roger, I don't like you. So welcome back. Yeah, that's that's called uh, that's called TV time. Uh, so he either sang about his penis or marijuana, depending on what I found the clip of. But uh, we have one more thing on deck seven that we've got to go through. The back of deck seven is really galley. Uh, and uh, no, we're on deck eight. Sorry, we're on deck eight. The back of deck eight, de deck eight is really galley. We've gone through all the shops. The only thing we didn't look at is the theater. Now I think there was only like one real production type show so far this cruise. Correct? Correct. There was something where they were all standing on stage and singing last night, but it wasn't like a choreographed show. Um, I always find it amazing. First night we came on, Rick, what were they doing in the main theater? Singing? No, the first night we came on. Oh, they weren't doing anything. No, they were doing something. Rick doesn't have a great memory. Oh, my God. They were I'm doing getting... bingo. Well, that's right. They were doing bingo. And then, uh, okay. You're right. Well, welcome aboard bingo. Uh, it's a massive theater. Now, we didn't talk about that. This ship is uh, 2,000 guests and 900 crew. So I think that's the important thing to understand. 2,000 guests and 900 crew, and I have never seen as much seating as I have on this ship per person. Have you? No. I have to, I'm doing an estimate of about 20,000 places to sit. We're going up anyway. Uh, 20,000 places to sit on this ship. Which sounds a little crazy uh, for only 2,000 people, but that's, uh, that's my estimate. So we are taking the theater stairs. You can see the theater behind us. And we went on, we were on seven. And we went to eight. Whoa! Yep, we're rocking. We're seven, eight, and now we've gone up to nine. We will make it outside in a little bit. But we are now leaving the theater behind. We are in the front of the ship because I don't know if I remember. You remember I told you? How do you know where the food is and the fun is? You know, the stand. Oh, found Rick a, just found, found a damn a duck. duck. Found a duck. He my, just found a duck. My first one on this cruise. You need to put it in your duck hiding spot. You Where's, know where that is, right? No. Shut up your ass. Oh, God. Okay. Then it would be a brown duck. Then it would be a brown duck. It goes from a white duck to a brown duck. Okay. So there's a lot of shit. Look at this. Look at all this uh, Vegas, uh, Vegas fiber optics. My God, look at this. We got the United States Bar. The Queen Mary Lounge, the Rotterdam Bar, Carnival Boulevard, Cafe de la France, Elation Restaurant, Majestic Casino, Paradise Atrium, Destiny Restaurant, Vir what the hell is Virtual World? I've never seen that. Rex, Leonardo, I really want to know what Virtual World is, yeah, don't you? Yeah. I bet you it doesn't even exist. We've been on this ship six days and we haven't seen Virtual World yet. But we still do have a photo gallery. Rick, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of formal nights on cruise ships anymore? So they can make money off Selling pictures. photos. Yep. Strangely, strangely, this ship is in a weird hybrid. Uh, all the newer ships don't print photos. For some reason here, they print photos. And these are not our photos, so it doesn't matter. They print photos as well as have them digitally on the app and digitally on the kiosk right here. And for some reason, these iPads have been updating all crews. I don't think they work. But yeah, they print photos and you know, what do people love to compare uh, Carnival Cruisers to, or Carnival Cruises to? The Walmart? 
the Walmart of the seas. And what do you have in Walmart? Loss prevention gates. Are you familiar with that? Yep. So we got loss prevention gates, and yes, right here. Should we test it out? I mean, we kind of should. See if there's a thing on the back. Look. Look, they, they, no, there's, no, you'd see it. It's like, it's like they want people to steal these photos. I'm really confused. Like, we don't know these people. You can't say we're stealing our photo because we don't know. Okay, Rick, they don't have any. Yeah, Is there we, one there? We'll see. Just guess. Okay. No, they don't work. Ah. It's the illusion of security. All right. Next up. Yeah, these are loss prevention gates that don't work very well. Oh, we were just testing them out. We wanted to see something. And, and we've got sushi. So this is an upcharge sushi um, that's in the casino. We're gonna show you the casino from the outside. This is what they generally have up on the buffet deck of the other ships. Uh, what are we looking at price? Uh, most expensive thing is eight bucks. Eight bucks. Which is for a poke bowl. I don't like raw fish. So um, sushi means nothing to me. Now again, when we're talking about, oh, so that is a slot pool going on right there. Slot pools are the biggest scams in the casino world. Do you know about a slot pool, Rick? No, never Walk with me. Okay. the biggest scams. Well, well, because here's what happens. One person arranges the slot pool, right? And the person who arranges the slot pool puts their card in the machine and gets all the points when like $2,000 in cash goes through the machine. So he's the one that gets the free cruise, maybe. That is correct. Damn. I know, it's always great to organize a slot yeah. pool. Um, also, of note, you can only smoke, because we're going to go to the other smoking area later. Uh, you can only, well, maybe, if there's someone there. Uh, you can only smoke inside the casino while it's open and only at certain machines. They do have uh, games of luck, and they consider this a game of skill. What do you consider this, Rick? A ripoff. I was going for a harder S word. Game of scam. It's a game of scam. scam. Game of scam. Okay. That's a scam. Uh, it's it's a game of skill with a very big luck element involved. You have to get one step either in or out of where it needs to go, and then it has to decide to pay out. That's how those work. They're kind of game of skill and luck combined, and those are generally open on port days. This bar behind me, though, let's talk about this bar. This is the casino bar, the America bar, and it is massive. Also very interesting about the casino bar, it is open during <laughs> it is open during port times. It is open when the casino is not open. It was open the first day when we came on and everything like that. Why? Well, because they don't have that many bars on this ship, even though uh, Rick begs to differ. His liver begs to differ from two nights ago. Uh, this has a well, lot of bars. When we looked at all the bars. Now, we're not going in the casino, but it is a rather large casino. And you'll see we've got the fun shops right here. Now, this is actually run directly by Carnival, not by the third party. And this is what used to be a closet and is now a candy store. I'm 100% sure this used to be casino storage. 100% sure this was a casino storage closet for like broken games and stuff like that. And they said, what's it? You did it. I don't know why this is right off the casino. You been in here yet? No. I was in here with you. Yeah. Last night, you probably don't remember. Oh, no, no, no. I got candy. Wait, last night? Yeah, you came in here and got candy. Oh no, I got dots last yep. night. But you weren't with me when I got dots. That was. No. I walked in. Oh, okay. Well, you were somewhere near. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love the candy style shop. If you want to get flowers or champagne or anything like that, you can get that all here. Cotton candy and everything of that sort. But it's literally right off the casino. There's the craps table. Again, we can't step over that threshold of carpet right there. So we're not in the casino with a camera, but uh, yeah. All right, going on, I want to talk about something kind of interesting. Rick has a problem. I'm calling him out for it right now. Rick, you remind me, you remind me of R. Kelly. What? You know why? Why is that? Because you pee too much. I do pee too much. R. Kelly peed on me. You ever seen that? Yeah, I do pee too much. Their bathroom is hidden all over. But when you get my bathroom, you know how you know where a bathroom is on this ship? The smell gets stronger. <laughs> you smell out the sewage. Uh, uh, we're, we're just honest with you here. Here's the under th understand. Nobody owns me. Nobody owns Rick. I, I don't think I've already mentioned this. Uh, this sailing literally cost me negative money because uh, I paid taxes and port fees for each of us like 120 bucks. Then I got on board and they gave me $500 in cash. 
uh, that's supposed to be in free play. We, for we forgot this lounge. And they gave me $500 in cash. That was supposed to be in free play. Here's another lounge that's really weird. You never see it used. This is called the Leonardo. I am like 900% sure that this used to be a smoking lounge back in the day. Because you can still smell it. You can Hey, at least you don't smell the piss in here. You can smell the cigarettes, but not the yep. piss in here. Um, but what they use this for is uh, they have the... This is like their little Havana bar. If you've ever been on the newer ships that have the Cuban club. This is where they have the Spanish music at night. It's a duo couple, uh, not a huge band. Uh, but during the day, on port days, this is where they do the trivia to keep all the old people happy. And is there a lot of old people on this ship? Oh, that's all you see besides you and I. I mean, besides me. Okay. You're an old people. Uh, I, oh, I said you're an old people. Oh, we're describing the whole ship. <laughs> you're an old people. That's a great name for it, too. I mean, it's, it's not terrible. Geriatric. We'll tell you what you should be paying to come on this cruise later. It's not terrible. But notice, we're doing this in real time. We're 25 minutes in. Okay. Um, I'm going to Wakanda. Okay. If you, if you don't know what that means, uh, you'll know what that means. This is Java Blue. I think it had a different name in the... Uh, it's called like some coffee bar or to, to Paris or something. Uh, but this is just their standard coffee bar. And yes, they still have the snacks that they sell. And I apologize if you're about to hear Rick go to the bathroom, uh, but I'm going to try and talk a little bit louder. Hopefully his microphone comes back into... Okay, his microphone is out of range. Thank God. Um, but next, we've got the nightclub. I call this nightclub Wakanda. Because this is actually not... This is actually textured. You can feel these textures. I wish you had touch of vision um, Now, why do I call it Wakanda? Well, it's called Rex. It's very Black Panther in nature. And literally, there's this giant-ass tiger lion thing that its head lights up and uh, its eyes light up and it looks like Wakanda right now this is the nightclub right now they're using it for an art auction so that's what they're using it for right now we don't go into art auction because we don't like art auction but uh, Wakanda gets pretty pretty crazy at night so uh, we gotta we gotta salute Wakanda because Chadwick Boseman Wakanda forever. Um, I will tell you, there was a great fight in Wakanda on uh, night three. I did not catch the fight on video, but I caught the aftermath. I caught four different elevators with four different security people going up with four different people in handcuffs. Well, in uh, like wrist ties, um, there's the little zip ties. Um, but they also have a little tiny, 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 tiny store for guests here. Is this new? Did they just add this in dry dock? You've always had this? Wow. This used to be someone's cabin, and they said, no, you can't live here anymore. They said, no, you can't live here anymore. Oh, you sell the, the, the floating speaker here. I have the floating speaker for only $77. Is that a sale? Yes, it is. That it used to be 99 or something? It used to be 89 actually. And what is that for? Is that a hook? It's a hook. Oh, I thought that was coming from the speaker. No, it's not that one. <laughs> That's the floating carnival. Where do you charge it? Where's the port? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Ah. That's the charging cable? Yes. I just want to see the end of it. It's a C type. Oh, wow. It's actually a modern thing. Yes, it is. Wow. It is. It is. And it's waterproof. waterproof. So when the ship's sinking, they don't have the, they don't have the orchestra anymore <laughs> play. They just have the carnival floating speaker playing. Thank you. Just have the carnival floating speaker playing, but yes, for some reason there's a guest store that's right there. I don't know why that is. I'm gonna see when uh, when my body comes back, because he can't hold his damn bladder. Now we've got the Destiny restaurant right here. This is the um, the ooh, what's the Destiny restaurant? This is the fixed di fixed dining time restaurant. So this is where you come if you have a fixed dining time. It's right down here, meaning that you've got, you know, certain hours, you know, you've got to either 5.30 or 9 for dinner. Uh, the other restaurant is right underneath us, as is the galley. So the entire galley is directly underneath us. We got to go on a bit of a galley tour when we did the chef's table. So literally right under where we're standing 
right here, let me put my foot out. This right here is the galley. Now, there's something that's unique to this ship. It's not open right now, but I did an entire video on it. It is so unique to this ship that uh, it's only here, and it was supposed to be redone during, uh, during the dry dock. This was supposed to become Alchemy Bar, but this is Carnival's last remaining Martini Bar. So this is a Martini and Moscow Mule Bar. Martini and Mule Bar. Uh, I did an entire review of every drink you can get there. I got sloppy drunk last night. Uh, definitely check out the review of Carnival's only, uh, Carnival's only Martini Bar there. And if I turn back around, this is the Queen Mary Lounge. This is, the, you'll notice when we get up by the pool deck, they don't have screens at the pool deck. They don't have a giant screen. So they show movies in here during the day when they can. But this is also where they do the comedy at night. So this is where they do the comedy club in the evening. And we'll just kind of look around. It's giant. The nice thing is, on a 2,000 person ship, when this probably seats upwards of seven, 800 people, you could show up for the comedy right when it starts. On every other carnival ship I've ever been on, if you're not sitting in the comedy half an hour, 40 minutes before, you're not getting into comedy. Now, the next place we're going is actually going to be weird that we're going here this way, but we're going directly from the comedy lounge to the Serenity deck, to the adult deck of the ship. This is the kids only, well, not kids only, sorry. <laughs> we don't talk about kids programs. I don't like kids, I'm sorry. If, if there's one kid, Coming by, being loud, I'll just stick my foot out and trip it. Uh, but this is the adults only area. And uh, you'll see back here, there's no kids. Nice place to hang out. It's not massive. They have one hot tub that's pretty massive. Uh, no pool or anything Hello. like that. Hello. No pool, nothing like that, but pretty nice. Pretty nice for Serenity Deck. They have their own towels that you can check out here. Uh, they did use this one night, believe it or not. They used it one night as a nightclub. Uh, it's kind of weird to think they would use it as a nightclub. Then we have the towel folding ninja. Did you make all those? You made, you made the bear? I love the bear. Look. We got all the different bears. We have a, a tiny version of this dog in our room, but I do love, I love the panda bear. I like, what kind of bear is that? That's just a happy bear. That's a panda bear. These are little rhinos. And right now she's making a wrapped towel. Yes. And there is no bar back here, but we're going to we're going to go where he came from. I know where it is. So this is literally right in the wake in the back. We're half an hour in and we're almost done with this tour. So we're going up again. We're going from deck 9 up to deck 10. Let's go up to deck 10. And now we're in the buffet. And not only the buffet, the bar here serves as both the buffet bar and the Serenity Bar. So this is the bar for both the buffet and the Serenity Deck. It's one of the dual purpose bars. Quite useful. Uh, they did have a bar back in the Comedy Club, which has one of my favorite drinks on board called the Zany Zombie. Then we've also got up here the Deli. The so Carnival Deli, right there. And you see, they're making the food. These two people sling it real quick. They make it real fast. You don't have to wait that long in line here for the deli. And behind the deli, the deli's open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. And then from 9 a.m. until 4 a.m. daily, they have the pizza place. So this is Pizza Pirate. It's included. They'll make you whatever kind of pizza you want. Um, and this doesn't get a bad house when the casino closes like it does on other ships. I don't know if there's just not as many people playing in the casino or what, but the pizza place, it's not really a madhouse in the evening, which is kind of cool. By the evening, I mean the morning. I swear I just saw Gallagher. You know who Gallagher is? The guy who smashes watermelons. I swear, I love you too. I swear Gallagher's alive. I know he's dead, or they say he is, but I swear I just saw Gallagher. This is the buffet. Mm, mm. Mashed potatoes, stir fried vegetables, all those other things. The penne primavera. 
The better option though is honestly the Sea Day Brunch is where you want to go. Uh, they do have a drink station and they have some different desserts here for your caloric and diabetes pleasure. Um, diabetes, 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 diabetes. That's all that's there is diabetes. And we are rocking today. Stuff is falling all over. It's kind of amusing. Uh, so let's continue out of the buffet. And we shall go to... Where are we going? Oh, Guy's Burgers. They do have a Guy's Burgers. Now, I was on about, God, seven, eight, nine, ten months ago. I can't even do math anymore. Probably six, seven months ago. Uh, I was on the Luminosa. And they had some shitty-ass burger stand. Which supposedly they had here before they did a revitalization. Maybe, I mean, not this revitalization, but the 2018 revitalization is when they added Guy's Burgers. And these are actually really good burgers. I got nothing to complain about these burgers here. Uh, yeah. Thing is, if you're on my ship tour, I'm a trooper. Um, it's a tiny ship. There's only so many directions you can be headed. Uh, I lost Rick. Whether Rick finds me again, it's not my problem. You'll see what they actually have. The whole layout here to do proper guys smash burgers and there's no line what the hell i know it's crazy there's no line and they even have both the burrito side and the taco side of the blue iguana cantina so there's the burrito side here's the taco side and the magic taco machine they even have the magic taco machine these are really good i recommend the pork and the chicken they are absolutely friggin' delicious. Um, they don't have any music on that back serenity deck that's copyright, but they do have music that's copyright here. So I'm gonna try and walk through here, talk, and avoid it. So let me show you the pool deck. Here's the pool deck. And uh, pretty damn big pool deck. Pretty damn good looking pool deck for a ship from 1998. This is Carnival's second oldest ship. Again, if you want to know where the bathrooms are, just look for where it smells like piss. I, I hate to be that blunt, but I'm also dead serious at the same time. So this is the Blue Iguana Cantina Bar. Not Cantina Bar, uh, Tequila Bar. So this is open uh, most of the day. This is where they got the tequila. And then they've got the Red Frog Rum Bar out here. Now, if it is inclement weather, let's be very clear. There is no shield, shade, there's none of that here. Unlike some other ships you might have been on that have the ability to actually have a retractable awning and things like that, this ship does not have that. Uh, but they do have a Red Frog Rum Bar here too. So you'll see Red Frog Rum Bar right there. And this is where you get your rum drinks and everything like that. Uh, I don't know why stairs are closed, but let's go into the atrium. We'll go up on the inside so we can avoid the music for a minute. Plenty of room. Look, that pool for 2,000 guests, that pool is massive. Now remember, Carnival is all about, they get you on board for a reasonable price. Some would say a cheap price, and then they try and upsell you once you get on board. I'm literally coming right off the pool deck. I did not plan this or anything. What am I seeing? They're trying to sell me destination t-shirts. Trying to sell destination t-shirts. So, we're going up. We're going back out to the pool deck. Hopefully to less copywritten music. Because we still have the spa, a mini golf course, and water slides to show you. Because all of the real carnival elements are actually on this ship. Uh, both in locations, in people, in everything. All of those elements are totally here um only one side goes up though see i only i have to take these stairs up again we haven't gotten an elevator at all we're gonna end probably in the water slide but let's keep going keep going keep going okay Whew. so this is deck 11. this is i think no the atrium goes up one more and they got little happy seals here this is a, I don't know, something. A la something. I can't read it. It's very dark. But these look, so these are murder seals. Look at that. Oh my God. 
This is the stuff of your nightmares. I thought seals were nice, but I guess not. Another weird thing about this ship is where the muster stations are. They are all friggin' over. There's muster stations in the casino. That's normal. Muster stations in the theater. That's normal. But there's muster stations in the buffet. That's not normal. Uh, because the lifeboats are up here on deck 10, <laughs> deck 11, which is really kind of crazy. And I think there's a really funky stair deck right here. I don't even know where this leads. There's some really funky stairs that kind of come out of nowhere here, but you don't know where they go. I genuinely don't know where this goes. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I really don't. Um, nor where this comes out. That looks like a chemical locker to me. Oh no, it's not okay. Okay, that's locked. I think that's the kids program. I didn't mean to intentionally go into the kids program because I usually run away from kids. Well, we are moving. I usually run away from kids, not towards them. So, yeah, that's not, it's not going to kids program again. It looks like the entire front of the boat here is closed off just due to, uh, due to weather. It's a pretty rough day today. Pretty rough sea day today. So, uh, I think, yeah, all the, uh, all the forward decks have been closed. There's nothing, there's nothing useful up here uh, that I know of. Haven't been up here. Uh, I think there might be, might be, might be, might be. Yep, might be a spa up here. No pants profits. Yep. I've still completely lost Rick. Uh, you don't separate from me on a tour. Sorry, that's the way life is. Oh, uh, where is spa? I gotta do what a man never does. I have to consult a map. All right, well, spa is, the spa is one more up. All right. So there are some cabins up on these top decks, but the spa is uh, one more deck up, and the mini golf is two more decks up. We're in the front of the boat. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the spa and fitness center are not places that I generally go. Number one, I don't like people touching me. Number two, I like to be fat. My mom don't like that joke. But, uh, same time, true. So, this is where you have the spa. I think, I think the fitness center is still closed. But you have to go through the, the changing room to get to the fitness center, so I wouldn't wanna go there anyway, yeah. That's what I was banging on the door of. That was the kids program. Camp Ocean. It's all out here. That is the... <laughs> That's what I was banging on the door of. I do have to remember how to get to the mini golf course. We did an entire thing up in the mini golf course. That's something I looked at. Where are the mini golf courses? So again, we need to... Uh, mini golf is up one more day. We're gonna hope that's open because of the weather. If not, I have a little video. I need to That was good. The ship's not that big, but Rick lives to the bathroom. You'll never find me again. Mini golf, mini golf, mini golf. Okay. This seems open. Yeah? Okay. Okay, here's the mini golf course. Pretty cool vantage point. We're gonna have to go down and around and up and down to get to where we want to end, which was the water slides. Well, this is a brand new addition. It's a nine hole mini golf course. Played this the other day. You can see from this vantage point, well, two hands on the camera. It is windy. Whoa, gotta put my hat on. No wonder this deck's closed. Yeah, this isn't very safe. I have a whole video on mini golf. So you can watch if you want. This ain't gonna do us any good right now. Let's try and go down, around, up, down, left, right. Starting A, because the last thing I gotta show you is the water slides. Because they actually did install a whole water park in the back. They used to have one water slide. That's what I've been told. They used to have one water slide by the pool, but then they actually uh, moved it from the pool 
and installed its own water park in the back. So I think we've got to go down a floor or two. I think two, because this is the kids' program. We got to be on the deck above the pool deck in order to uh, get to where we've got to go. Again. Oh wait. Rick's microphone has come back. Rick is somewhere around here. I see his mic transformer is here. Now, I can't let him know that I see his mic transformer, is that it? I see his mic here. I don't know what you're hearing in the background. Uh, oh, there I see him. I see him. Let's catch up to Rick. Okay, I see him. I saw his mic come live. When I saw his mic come live, I know we're good. Should we sneak up behind him and scare the shit out of him? Of course we should. This is the uh, smoking section of the ship. If you're not smoking in the casino, this is the only place that doesn't smell like sewage because it smells like a cigarette smoke. <laughs> Just gonna get through this real quick. Get me a secondhand nicotine high even though we're outside but unless you're actively gaming in the casino they don't watch you play in here rick is back in range you see him right there oh i can't sneak up on him can i uh, he doesn't see me yet he doesn't see me yet he's still looking you see him right there he's like he's like where'd that guy go i'm so confused maybe he's back by the water slides I'm gonna go grab his ass. <laughs> Pull up those, I, I know he's around here someplace. Yeah, I saw your mic come back into range. <laughs> this is our last place, right? So, so I got seasick, just so you guys know. I must be a complete pussy. Good. You are what you eat. Good. Man, I got sicker than shit. You better now? I'm better. Okay. You expelled so, your lunch? So I expelled it and then I took a chew. I thought maybe that'd help. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, so we're at the last place, which is Waterworks, which it looks like it's running. So you know what that means, Rick. It means time for me to expel my lunch on there and have it closed down? No, 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 no. I'll do it. Okay. I don't do enclosed slides, though. Uh, so I like this orange and green slide. Um, I think... I can take everything in my pocket. So Rick, I give it a little review. Uh, you expelled your lunch in the gym too, didn't you, the other day? Yeah. Uh, I heard about that. Which slide do I like better, green or orange? I'm gonna go on one of them. I have never done this before on this channel. I'm Where just unpacking my pockets. Come on over here, Rick. Here, put it in my hat. We gotta finish our review. You're not going on the slides, only I am. I know, but still. We gotta finish our review of the, uh, of everything. Um, so. What have you thought about this ship so far? This ship, gonna... Besides being the uh, sea level. I mean, that's the same. And I, I say, it's actually been a fun ship. It's been. Well, that's, that's okay. I mean, but it's at least Carnival's trademark. Okay. I used to say that. Oh, Joe Exotic here. Put, put my hat on. But it's very windy up here. Uh, you know, I used to say that uh, that uh, the celebration was a great value. But I learned that was a Walmart trademark. Yep. Uh, Hold on, hold on, two seconds. I mean, would you come back on here? Oh, 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 there's my platinum key. Just so you know how how rough and windy it is here today, we're not going to stop the footage. But uh, Rick has the key in his pocket. I think I am completely devoid of. Uh, oh wait, are the sides closed? Really? The slides are closed? What? The, the that yellow's open? All closed. Only the little baby one, right? Well, shit. Rick, I gotta do the little baby one? No. That's what he's saying? So I can do the baby one? Okay. Okay, so... Oh my god! Why are they making this so hard? There's no slides for fat people. I mean, I guess I could come in. I'm not going to go on the slide. I'll walk over here. Everything's closed. 
I've taken off all my clothing for all of y'all and nothing's here. But oh, look at this. That work? No. It's a brand new Richard fitted ship. Um, I've never gone to the splash zone on a video before. Usually because it's filled with kids. But it's so rough, none of the kids even want to come here. So, you see we've got all this little stuff in the splash zone. This is included. This is free. No additional ticket. Like if you go to Royal Caribbean and Perfect Day at Coco Cay or any of that crap like that. Unfortunately, I can't go down any of these slides. I can't go down the slides. They say it's for kids only. That's no fun. Uh, so let's go back to what we were talking about. Let me get to, let me get Rick back in the shot. I'm coming back to you, Rick. Sounds good. So overall, yeah, this was a, uh, it's a fun ship. I would say, look, we booked on a casino promo and everything like that. I would say, in the scheme of things, this ship, you've seen the whole thing, it's probably worth about $75 per person per day all in. Yep. In the Caribbean. Again, I like to give what I call the Alaska premium. About $25 more per person per day if it's in Alaska, Australia, somewhere, somewhere nice. Not that the Caribbean's not nice, but there's so much competition in the Caribbean. So it's worth about 100 bucks a day if you're there. But if you're looking at the big ships, Celebration in the Caribbean is worth like 125. Elsewhere, it's worth like 150, 200 dollars. Uh, if you can get on this ship for 75 dollars a day or less, kind of like a Sea World day. Well, for 75 dollars, you get an annual pass at Sea World, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the Sea World of cruise ships. This is Richard, and this is Rick. And I don't know how well you can hear us because we're up on a windy deck, but we are coming to you from. Carnival Paradise, our first uh, time on board and our first, her first six days after the 2023 dry dock, reminding you that if you overpay for this shit, you're probably wearing no pants. But if you wear no pants, it's only one thing you got left to lose, and it is, I finally found him. No shirt. Your shirt. Your shirt. Okay, okay. let's try, give him a chance again. This is Richard and Rick coming to you from the deck of the closed ass water slide on Carnival Paradise saying that when you pay too much for a cruise ship and you wear no pants, the only thing you got left to lose is your shirt. Wave bye.